What's up, everybody? How you doing? This is Max Boogie from Wall Street. I got week 10 this time. I, I messed up the title and I said it was week 8. And it was really week 10. But anyway, first run of the game. First play of the game. Daniel Taylor. They give him a counter. It's that simple. He scores. You know what I'm saying? The, uh, single back aces really has... um. It, it's becoming my favorite uh, formation because usually... Most of the playbooks that have the single back ace, they have the uh, the counter in it. And the counter is actually a real good run play. And as you can see, you can take it to the house with just one play. So now they got be trying to do this triple option right here. They hand it off to D'Angelo Williams. And, you know, Daniel Taylor, he's like, ah, right, he could get that. So they do the same play again. They hand it off to D'Angelo Williams again. This time he breaks the tackle and gets like, like 17 yards on that play. So Daniel Taylor says, nah. There's none of that. Give him back the ball. Put him back in the backfield by himself. And watch him do work, man. He's over here spinning, fighting for yards, man. And I don't know what was wrong with the Eagles this game. Like, I'm running right here, breaking this first tackle. You always know that Daniel Taylor breaks the first tackle on every run play. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing a move like Bernie right there. But every run play, he breaks that first tackle. And this time we do the counter out the uh, some pistol for me. It was the pistol twin tight end, and we get to the one yard line. I thought they would call it the touchdown, but they they didn't. And instead of running the ball and hopping over the line, which I knew the defensive thing we would do, we do a play action to let Cam Newton finally get some touchdowns. And I checked after this game, and Cam Newton surprisingly has like the highest. Uh, quarterback rating in the whole league right now. This this franchise that I'm in, Cam Newton has the highest quarterback rating, and I'm like, I'm not sure how this possible because every time I just let him pass by himself, it's always an incomplete pass. It's always an interception, unless it's to me, uh, and then sometimes it's just an incomplete pass. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it's the screens that do it, but another run play. You see the stats right there. We coming out doing the counter this time. There's nobody over there. Breaking that tackle from the safety and we get caught from behind. But it's another first down though. Like I guess I'm using the Oakland Raiders playbook. I've been using it for like a couple days now. And the run plays in it is real tough. You know what I'm saying? Like, showing off this game. It's just a crazy game right now for Daniel Taylor. He's just wilding. Coming out with the speed option. They pitch it to him. Breaks one tackle and he keeps his feet moving. Kind of like he got thrown in there. But he spiked the ball in the referee's face. Didn't even get a flag. But get the touchdown off the speed option. Caught the pitch. Ran over the... Broke through the uh, cornerback. Would have dragged him in the end zone. But we got hits there. So we do the counter again. You can see right here, man. Another first down play. Get off of me. Disrespectful. I think that was another cornerback. If you're a cornerback, do not try to tackle Daniel Taylor. It's not going to work. You don't get embarrassed. You don't get exposed. It's just, he's just too much. You know what I'm saying? He can't be stopped. Look at this. Mr. Mr. Dobbin tackle. I think that was, I think Kerry Williams wears 28. I'm not even sure. Nah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Don't, don't believe me on that. But number 28 gets faded. Stiff arm to the face. We coming up the middle, making people miss around blocks. We, he's got the vision, got the speed, got the strength. What else do you need? You know what I'm saying? This is Adrian Peterson. Plus LaShawn McCoy, plus Marshawn Lynch, and we get diving touchdowns. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I think that was the counter play again. But, yeah, man, this is Oakland Raiders playbook. It's great for running. They got the uh, trio, gun trio offset or whatever that is. And this is this is what happens when we let Cam Newton just throw the ball without no play action. He throws picks. I don't know what he was trying to do, man. He just throws interceptions, gets pick sixes all day. I think 24 is carry with him, to be honest. I'm not really... Not sure right now, but we hand the ball back up the middle, hit the safety with the little juke. Almost broke the broke the tackle, could have been gone for more, but now, see, we got to help Cam Newton out. If I'm on a pass route with Daniel Taylor and I see it, I'm open, I have to immediately press A because I know he would throw a pick. Fourth and ten, I didn't press A. <laughs> I was waiting to get farther, but it didn't matter anyway. Somehow, he overthrows the same exact route that he just completed. So, we got trying to get him some yards again. We're trucking over linebackers on the flat routes. Getting close to the first down, the second and one. Do the play action. I think Greg Olsen, again, he's just breaking tackles. He had a whole lot of touchdowns this game. 
But he was over there breaking tackles, you know what I'm saying? Coming out, we finally get the screen playoff in the second half. They wasn't ready for it. Breaking another tackle. Somebody's getting dragged, but then I get caught from behind again, getting pushed out at the two-yard line. We line up in this heavy formation just to do another play-action pass to Greg Olson. He's on the same route on every one of these play-actions, and he's always open. You know what I'm saying? Cam Newton always finds him. Look at that. Completely lost number 98. I don't know who 98 is, but he, he can't D Greg Olson. <laughs> Do the counterplay again. This time, I ran out in front of my blockers. I, was, I didn't feel like waiting. If I, if I did wait, it probably would have been a touchdown. But we hand the ball up the middle, break a tackle, do a spin move, getting the first down again. Second and one this time. This is that trio formation I was just talking about. But hand it up the middle again, break the first tackle. We get tackled by the second guy. That happens all day. We do the screen again. It looks like this is going to be a touchdown. I thought I was going to break the tackle, but, you know, I just let him tag. Daniel Taylor let him tag on, you know what I'm saying? They didn't want to hurt their feelings too bad. Cam Newton, not sure if that was a play action, but Greg Olsen again. His third touchdown of the game. It's, it's crazy out here, you know what I'm saying? Greg Olsen on that same corner route. Getting beat in the defense. They keep on playing man against these, these corner routes. It's not going to work with Greg Olsen. Which is why the Panthers got the number one offense in the league right now. Which is why Cam Newton has the highest quarterback rating. And you see me breaking tackles, getting first downs on like every run play. Back to the trio formation. We do the counter again. Ran past the safety. Hit the spin move. We spent twice there. Spent another time. And we get tackled. I don't even know why I spent that last time. But we spending three touchdowns over 300 yards. Averaging about 13 yards a carry. Come on. Screenplay again, man. Got the blockers out there. One, two. He got laid out, and we break the last tackle for the touchdown. Cam Newton has, like, at least four four touchdowns or something this game. I'm not really sure. But close to breaking the rushing yard record, we do the counter again in the fourth quarter with 12 seconds left. And after this run, fighting for more yards over there. We fighting to get inside the 20. But we also fighting to add more yards to break the break the look at this man rushing yards in the single game broke the record again i'm pretty sure i broke adrian peterson's record with 296 like uh earlier this year but then i broke it again with 300 something 346 and that is the end of the game we kicked on the philadelphia eagles man i, I don't even know that's not gonna happen in real life because i just so watched the eagles play the cowboys the d-line will not let that happen but 49 to 28 is the final score Prom Tom, Deion Sanders, we out here though, diving into the end zone. <laughs> Daniel Taylor was wild in this game. You could not tackle him by yourself. But make sure you watch next week's game because it is the Carolina Panthers versus the Atlanta Falcons. Daniel Taylor versus Quincy Blunt, man. This video is coming to an end. So always remember, in the street we trust, I'm out.